let's just focus on how freaking cool this is. Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Connor. You are watching thrivingminimalist.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm super excited about today's video because it is on the solar system that we just installed in Winnie. So Winnie is the 19 foot Winnebago on top of a Toyota truck recreational vehicle. For a chunk of the year I travel internationally but while I'm in the United States I get the luxury of hanging out in this vehicle with one other awesome human being and one thing that was just missing every once in a while that would come up for us was like a hot day and we had an inverter plugged into our battery that charge us when we drive and so we plug in a fan and the fan would work for about an hour or two and then it would peter out and we would just be like stuck in our home and hot and be hot so that would come up sometimes and then at other times we both wanted to charge our computer and the inverter that we had just wasn't big enough to handle charging two computers so only one of us could charge our computer and just small little things like that there none of them are a big deal but over time they do rack up and you can kind of feel like man this just isn't as ideal as I wanted so of course we started talking about solar. Recently we stayed in California at my parents house and it was just an awesome opportunity to pull out some of my dad's tools and get this solar system going. So in today's video what I want to do is really quickly show you the system because it's just so cool to show to people and I also want to turn your attention to my website where I have created a really extensive article answering these same questions I'm gonna answer here but in much more detail with links provided to all the products that I used and some additional ones in case you want to go a different route so I highly encourage you and recommend that you check out thrivingminimalist.com and you check out this article on solar that I'm putting up today so let's jump right in this is what we have going on on. We've got one big solar panel on top of the roof. It's bolted down in four spots and then this cable runs from that solar panel down through a vent so that I didn't have to drill an extra hole in the roof. It comes out through the vent, runs through some cabinetry and hooks up to a control panel. That control panel is responsible for controlling how much electricity is allowed to go into the batteries from the solar panel. Because if you didn't have that and you overcharged your batteries again and again and again, your system would eventually just peter out and fail. So the first step is it goes into this little control system. That control system then hooks up to four six volt golf cart batteries. So we have four six volt golf cart batteries. Those are being charged by the sun. They get restored every time the sun is out. All of those golf cart batteries, by the way, are connected. They're all linked up. So they're operating sort of as like one source of energy. Then we have two wires coming from those batteries running into the inverter. And the inverter is responsible for inverting DC energy into AC energy. We sprung for a really high quality, high capacity inverter and I'm so glad that we did. This one is extra cool for a few reasons and one of those is that it links up to a phone line that you're able to control from an on and off button. That phone line is about 20 feet long so we could hook it up almost anywhere and be able to turn it on and off with this little button. But we hooked it up right outside of the cabinet that it's in so that we don't have to open and close the cabinet every time we want to turn on the inverter. And then what we also did is we ran a thick gauge wire into the outlet of the inverter and created a new outlet that is exposed on the outside of that cabinet right next to the on and off button for the inverter. So we can turn the inverter on and we can plug in right next to it without having to open up the cabinet and deal with all of that stuff. The other cool thing about this inverter is that it lights up and you can read how much electricity the system has in total and that is really cool and really good to know. Okay so don't worry about all the little details right this second because you still want more information you can check out the article. Let's just focus on how freaking cool this is. We are able to just hang out, drive around, do our thing, whatever. If the sun is out, even if it's a gray cloudy day, we are generating free electricity. The cost up front is so small to the amount of electricity that we generate and the amount of joy it brings to our life. So as a minimalist, you know, I rarely like promote products, but I have to say when products simplify and bring you joy, it's like a no-brainer. Like this is a thing 
that everyone can benefit from. It's also something that you can totally do on your own. You don't need to hire anybody to do this. This is very, very simple stuff. Much love. I will see you next Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye.